To delete a GTG base or a generation data group, you need to follow two simple steps. First one is prepare a JCL that use IDCAMP's utility with delete GTG command. And second thing is you need to submit that job on mainframe system. So if you have access to the mainframe system, then you can submit that job on your own. Otherwise, you can request the operator to submit that job on your behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's JCL tutorial on Generation Data Group or GDG. In this session, we will primarily focus on a sample JCL to delete a GTG base or a generation data group. So without wasting any time, let's focus on today's agenda. So we start today's session with introduction to generation data group. Then we will look at sample JCL to delete a GTG base or a generation data group. So ladies and gentlemen, before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And in case if you have already subscribed to our channel, then I would like to say a big thank you for your subscription. And do watch this video till the end so that you have a good understanding of how a generation data set or GDG works. So let's get started with introduction to generation data group. A generation data group or GDG is a collection of two or more chronologically related version of the same data set. They are generally used to maintain the backup of critical data, for example, monetary transactions. And if something goes wrong, then you can easily restore the data from the GDG backups and redo the processing from the same point. Now, let's move on to the next section where we'll look at a sample JCL to delete a GDG base or a generation data group. So here's a sample JCL to delete generation data group catalog entries by issuing delete command. And again, you have to use IDCAMP's utility for that. So if you look at the first two lines, this is actually a job card, which is used to specify the information related to a job. Then you have a few comments so that you can understand what exactly this job is doing. Then you have an IDCAMP's utility, which will be invoked by an execute statement. After that, you have a delete command, which is uh, having delete followed by a GDG base name. Then you have a keyword GDG. And after that, I've used purge and force. So generally speaking, these two parameters are used together when you want to get rid of the GDG base and its data set. So last important point that I want to highlight out here is that if you have used these two parameters, then the system will delete the GTG base and its data set, even if the expiration date hasn't been reached, right? So this could be an interview question that uh, how you can delete your GTG base and the generation data set, even if the expiration date has not been reached. So the simple answer to that question is that you can use uh, delete GTG command along with purge and force parameter. So it will eventually delete your GTG base and the generation data set, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this marks an end to our today's presentation. And I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And in case if you have any feedback for us, then please do mention that in the comment section. And apart from that, in case if you have any questions related to generation data group or how you can use that in a JCL, then also mention that in comment section. I'll going to respond back after this presentation. Once again, thank you so much for listening so patiently. Bye-bye and take care.